I don't know. It's just something about those computer screen films that I'm just always drawn to. So, with that being said, now it's time to review the new film that just made its world premiere, Blue Whale. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be reviewing the film Blue Whale or hashtag Blue Whale which made its world premiere at this year's Fantasia Film Festival 2021. Now as I said this film is one of those computer screen recorded films or um, you know you can sometimes label it as screen life so like films like Profile, Searching and Unfriended which I'm going to come back to. It's all different examples of this. But um, this film was, it, it was interesting because the thing is with these type of films, I think they're just so easy to digest that they're just fun. Like sure, there's, there was tons of problems with this film, but like it's just one of those type of films where you just be like, all right, you know, I know it's going to be some unbelievable things. I know it's going to be kind of wonky at times, but like they're fun. I think there's definitely a niche for them and I, I enjoy them. Uh, I thought Profile was actually really good to be honest, but you know, Unfriended it was definitely like a, okay, I can, I can get with this. This is different. This is unique. And as we start to see more and more of these type of films, I'm just always interested in seeing like, what could they tell? Um, but this one here is, uh, it's a Russian screen life and it's about, um, this uh, young, this this young girl Dana, her sister has committed suicide, and that you know she's grieving, her mother's grieving, the family's grieving, um, but it just seems oddly suspicious because <laughs> Dana, who's played by Anna Potab Potabna, let me make sure I say her, her last name's Russian, I want to make sure I say that right, Potabna. Um, she, you know, she does some investigating. She's on her sister's computer. She's like going through things and she's finding all sorts of crazy clues. And it all leads back to hashtag Blue Whale, which is a game where you have this group of people. They're called a deaf group where they got to go through um, tons of trials in order to ultimately get to the last one where they ultimately have to commit suicide. So like it's all all types of torment and punishment through the different trials until they ultimately get to that final trial. And this is very serially, you know, very eerily similar to Unfriended. Like, it's almost like the Russian version of Unfriended. Uh, you have the one person who's pulling the strings behind and no one knows who they are and they don't want making people do all these crazy things. And, um, yeah. And, and, and you know what else is interesting is that this film is actually based on actual cyber crimes, which they believe to have caused over 130 deaths in the Eastern Europe, uh, in Eastern Europe. And this is like basically the Japanese version of Momo, uh, which if you remember that, that was going on. Um, but, you know, let's talk about this character, Dana, here. Like, she turns into a mini Max and Neve of Catfish, along with some FBI skills. And she's putting together clues that just are, I mean, they're high-level skill. Like, the, the type of stuff she's doing. She did a, a few, like, hacking tricks to get IP addresses. And, like, the, the, the thing about this film is that the progression of events was happening so fast, it just made things unbelievable. Like... There was a moment where she was, you know, in her room and then the killer threatened her that, like, if you don't play the game right, you're going to get punished. And she was acting rebellious. And then the killer was one room over with her mother trying to kill her. And then she came out and the killer was gone. And then the vi killer put out a video being somewhere else completely different. It was like they had a teleporting device about how things were just transitioning so fast. So, like, that, that really was a little bit... I, again, I guess, again, this is why I say it's easy to digest because you, at this point, you just know it's unbelievable. But also, when you start trying to think too hard about things, you're just like, oh, come on now. Like, this, this, this clearly doesn't make sense, you know? Um, but, yeah, so there's tons of unbelievable moments. Uh, and with all the high-level hacking and teleportation, it kind of takes you out of it a little bit. Um, but, again, I just think that these type of films are just known to just be... Huh? Okay, let's just see what happens, you know, just like I say, easy to digest because we all know it's it's never ever going to be serious or they never ever 
are going like no one would have the capability of doing some of the things that are happening in these films so you just kind of just get over it and just let the events roll you know uh and then for some odd reason this film threw in the love story <laughs> which was kind of weird but like i guess but at this point now i started to get really suspicious about how this film is going to play out I start i start to like saying i feel like this is going to get really predictable um but i will say that um uh, uh, you know Dana who played by Anna I thought she did a really good job I thought like you know for all the different emotions that she had to go through I mean sure they were a little bit dramatic and kind of like all over the place but I thought she did a really good job in handling this in this role uh, and it, again at the end of the day it was still pretty fun to me watching now talking about oh one other thing I want to add to is this film definitely has uh, has played around with a lot of very popular horror tropes uh do you see something from the shining um you're gonna see something from scream uh which i'll come back to a second and actually let's just get into spoilers really quick let's talk about the ending of this film so the idea is that she wanted to eventually trap the killer in her last trial she wanted to make her because she had did enough research to know at this point now how to kind of lure her out and she gets to her last trial where she's supposed to kill herself and then the killer will appear to kind of confirmed that she killed herself but she did this blood trick and she didn't and then the killer realized she was still alive and ain't got into a fight the thing is she did all that dana did all this talking about how she wanted to catch her and she wanted to kill her and then when she actually got to the opportunity where she could do so all she did was run from her and i get it that she's young so this comes off like you know a very immature and unrational strategy but like come on now it's just like oh you did all this talking and all you did was ran once you got your opportunity so i thought that was one thing and then the fact the killer takes this big bowie knife and stabs her in the ankle and then she just casually just walks around and like when she got to the next scene she's just casually walking like it's okay like she should be hurt hurt or bleeding out significant significantly and she wasn't so i was just like uh Oh, okay but at the end it was pretty obvious who the killer was i mean it's it, so much emphasis on this dude and their whole love thing that you just knew it was him and this is again much like scream where you just knew it had to be the obvious person that they just kept putting the person that they want you to think it can never be them but obviously it is them you know much like scream and it is pretty cool that moms is the one to get the win obviously getting revenge for her daughter but as we get to the very, very end of this, we see that the detectives are, you know, scraping the computer and whatnot. Come to find out there's another person pulling strings here. And I guess they want to leave the door open for a sequel. But I think we're just good with where this is at. But I also think, like, for this type of films, I think it's inexpensive for them to make. So obviously wanting to make more is obviously a good thing if you can make it lucrative. I think that the cinematography in doing these are pretty cool with the cell phones and whatnot. I think it's pretty cool and I think it's very unique. And I think, you know, especially in um in, in the pandemic era, you know, this is definitely a very suitable way to 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 to, to do films nowadays. So, um, you know, I, I I'm not objective of these type of uh these type of films, but like this this story itself, this I I would be cool if this was the last one. But it is a screen life film, and I'm just a fan of them. And I'm just, you know, if they came out with a sequel, I'll probably still watch it anyway. But I think the most important thing to say here is, like, again, this film was easily digestible. It was fun. Um, the events and everything surely were unbelievable. But at the same time, as long as you don't go into this thing being serious, you just kind of go about what the events are to come. You, you're just entertained. And overall, you know, it's a good time. So I didn't mind this film. Um, I, 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 this is definitely something I wanted to check out. So glad I had the opportunity to do so. And overall, I'm okay with it. I'm definitely okay with it. But folks, definitely jump in the comments. This is the film hashtag Blue Whale. Um, let me know your thoughts about this film if you've checked it out, or if you plan on checking this out, or if you are a fan of Screen Life films. Like, check this out. I think you think you wouldn't be mad at it. I'm sure you're gonna have some things to say, like, oh my God, there's no way this, this, and that. But again, if you just take all the rationality out of stuff and just let it have fun and don't be worrying about the teleporting and somebody being, you know, hit with a Bowie knife and completely still being able to walk and um, all all sorts of other random things, you, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be just fine. But yeah, folks, thank you for tuning in for this review, and I'll catch around for more reviews very soon.